In this video I will be showing you how to make bleach and fixer for use in developing motion picture films. So for this you will need sodium thiosulfate, potassium metabisulfite, uh, this is to make the fixer. To make the bleach you will need potassium ferricyanide and sodium bromide. And with these you'll be able to make up over 2 litres of each solution. So to begin making your fixer you want to add 500 millilitres of hot water to a beaker and then into that add the 200 grams of sodium thiosulfate and then you just stir that until it's all dissolved. So now once that's all dissolved add uh, 20 grams of potassium metabisulfite and then stir all that until it's dissolved and then after you've done that add enough water to get it up to one litre and with that your fixer is now ready it sort of has kind of like a, a fizzy sort of smell to it it's kind of like uh, smelling carbonated water so to test your fixer to make sure it works place a piece of film in it and what should happen is it should turn clear so this is a piece of 16mm film which I've taken the rem jet off so you just dip that in and then you might be able to see it slowly turn clear it should it'll take a little while I think it takes about a minute but I can see that it's beginning to work already So here's the result after about a minute and a half, as you can see the piece of film has now gone clear. So that means that the fixer is working as it should. Uh, but we'd always just try a little roll of film, maybe a few pictures on a roll of film that isn't too important. And then you could uh, just develop as normal and then give it a try and see what your results are. I've not tried this yet, but for the purposes of this video I'm going to try out all the chemicals and show you what the results are. And the reason I'm doing all this is just to save money really, because I could get one litre of developer for just over £4, so it's much cheaper than buying a 3 litre ECN2 kit or another C41 kit, because it could be quite a lot of chemicals, but yeah, now as you can see, this piece of film is now clear and it'll go even clearer once dry. So to make the bleach you want to add 900 millilitres of hot water to the beaker then 40 grams of potassium ferricyanide. Potassium ferricyanide is sort of a red crystal like substance like this. So one thing uh, with the bleach is the, the bleach that came with the Bellini Photo C41 kit, kit I have been using uh, it absolutely stinks it's like it's like vinegar but much much stronger uh, so I don't know if this is going to be any better uh, and the fixer that was in that kit absolutely stank of urine it made your fingers stink of pee it was uh, not very nice and this fix that we just made is uh, pretty much odourless. So once that's all mixed you'll notice that the solution will just turn yellow. Uh, but we've still got another ingredient to add. Add 25 grams of sodium bromide. And then just mix it all together. The recommended formula for the bleach in the ECN2 process involves actually setting up some sort of chemical reaction which produces, a, I, think it, I think it produces some sort of gas anyway and has to be done in a well ventilated area. But uh, this, which is on the, it's on the Kodak's data sheets for bleaches you can use, you can use several different bleaches and fixers, but this one uh, doesn't, I don't seem to be producing anything, this, 
seems fairly docile in comparison to other bleaches. And the last thing you want to add is just water to get that up to one litre. But in my case I'm going to repeat this process because I want two litres of the stuff because I've got a Lomo tank which is for developing 16, 8 and 35 millimetre film and that takes about two litres of solution. So this bleach is now finished and it's odourless, it doesn't have any smell at all. So that's quite good but there's maybe downsides to this bleach. Um, Maybe it's not as good as the other stuff that stinks, uh, or maybe it doesn't last as long, um, I'm not totally sure. So what I'm going to do is just get some film out of my camera and just try it with the RA4 developer and some motion picture film and I'll see if I could get it to work. So I just placed this piece of film in the bleach and it's all it's really done is made the emulsion go slightly lighter in colour, so I'm going to just put some film in another camera that I've got and just take a few pictures and develop them and see what it turns out like. So now that's the chemicals all mixed and for the bleach you want to leave that to sit for an hour because I was reading that there's a a chemical reaction that takes place so it's best to leave these chemicals for an hour. Uh, and they'll be ready after, afterwards. So these are not the same as the Bellini photo uh, chemicals in terms of the time that you have to use them. The bleach uh, on Kodak's literature it says 3 minutes at 27 celsius and the fix is 2 minutes at 38 celsius. So I suppose you could just like uh, heat up all your chemicals as normal and just take your bleach out early. Um, because in the Bellini photo kit that says they can, the temperatures could be 27 to 38 but that's for a different chemistry so uh, I'm just going to follow Kodak's recommendations on this. Now everything is up to temperature and ready for me to begin the test. So here's everything in here all warmed up. So I'm using the RA4 process, I'm just going to quickly go through it. I'll probably do another video showing exactly how I develop uh, stuff, but I mainly just want to show you the results of what this bleach and fixer can do if it does even work. So that's me just finished the development process. I'm just using water as a stop bath just now, uh, just giving it a little rinse. and. What's going to come next is a bleach, the bleach that we made up. So before I do that, I'm just getting every last bit of water out of it. Um, I'm wanting to get the the bleach in there quite quickly because the film could still be developing really slowly. So I'll set a timer for three minutes, and then I'll get my bleach pour done. Yeah, and once I've got the bleach in, I just open up the tank uh, because I can see what I'm doing easier, and I could get the chemicals in. Uh, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually put direct sunlight on the film though, because uh, um, direct sunlight after your film is developed, it could fog it just slightly. But uh, it's already in the bleach, and all the development stopped, so I don't think that's really going to be a problem. But. Um, I just basically do it like this so I can see all what's going on inside. So yeah, that's our bleach formula. So far it's really nice to work with, it doesn't stink, it's great. So every 30 seconds I, I just agitate it like this. So the problem with this bleach is it takes longer. So yeah, it's 3 minutes as opposed to the 45 seconds for the Bellini Photo stuff. And the developer I'm using is Bellini Photo RA4 developer, just the two bottles to make one litre. Uh, it's really good stuff. But I don't know if this bleach is going to play nice.
If it's on Kodak's literature and I've mixed it right, it should be no problem. So, I'm just keeping out of direct sunlight, but it'll probably be okay. It's just because I've noticed that, um, like, if you have undeveloped film, like, if you have just the start of your film reel, if that's exposed to direct sunlight, it actually still, still does change colour, even though it's not being developed. And once you've fixed your film, that's when you can bring it into direct sunlight for ages and it wouldn't do very much damage. But, uh, yeah, I'm just all bleaching just now. And then I'll go into the fixing and then hopefully we'll have a usable result. The bleaching is now finished and I'm just doing the... Uh, I'm just washing, so the way I wash, it's a really good way to wash. As I just twirl it in the tank like that while letting water pour in through the middle hole. It's just warm water and then you wash it in between every step just like in the ECN2 process. Uh, oh, there's definitely pictures on there, I can see them. So the bleach seems to have been a success. This is EXR 50D film, expired. So it's good to wash thoroughly between each step because if you don't then you're just going to end up diluting your chemicals. So I'll not let that be in the sun too long and I'll just get going. So now onto the fixer for two minutes. Here's the fixer. And now Nice and crystal clear. Doesn't stink of anything at all, so it's really good. Although one observation uh, I've just noticed, um, although the fixer itself doesn't smell of anything, if you still, if you get it on your finger, um, it doesn't exactly smell like piss, but it does give your finger a funny smell, maybe because it's having just a very slight reaction with the skin but there's no pain or anything so uh, it doesn't seem to be that harmful it's certainly better than the blini folk stuff in that it doesn't stink so I reckon you might actually need three or four minutes for the fixer because I felt that the two minutes didn't really fix it enough but uh, the film doesn't seem to be as clear as when using the Bellini photochemistry, so uh, I think something's maybe gone wrong, but um, it's maybe a bit early to say. Might just be that the lighting conditions are different today or something, but um, I'm just giving this a good wash after fixing, and then I'll have to take the film off the roll and get the REM jet off, well, whatever REM jet was left. Just getting all the fixer off that, and hopefully, it has worked. So it turns out that I was getting all worked up about nothing, uh, it seems to have actually worked perfectly. So, yeah, fixing maybe two to three minutes should, should do it. Uh, these negatives look pretty much as as they should, I would imagine. I can't seem, seem to see that there's that much difference between these and the Bellini photo ones, so I've just got to stabilise it now. So now I'll try and do a side-by-side -side comparison. This film here was just developed using the Bellini photo bleaching fixer, uh, and this one here was developed using my bleach and fixer so I'll just try and do a colour comparison as you can see the ones the negatives that I've done myself uh, using that that mixture are just ever so slightly darker but definitely still usable although I won't know for certain until I scan them but they do seem seem good so what I'll do is I'll scan this and show you the results. Okay, so here's the results using the
the bleach and fixer that we made up and as you can see it's definitely usable, it's worked okay and if you do see any colour shifts or uneven development in these pictures it was because of me pouring out the developer I think pouring it out too slowly or trying to get as much of the developer out as possible and it was just running down the film like as you can see here and causing uneven development just at the end so the way to solve that is just pour out the developer as quickly as you can and then just get your stock bath in as quickly as possible and that should get rid of that problem but yes it, it definitely does work and uh, any splotches that you do see or whatever like there that was just caused by ramjet